Good evening, Matthew. Good evening, everybody. Yes, it's evening here at High Strand. It's midnight, and it's the autumnal equinox tonight. So we've got equal hours of daylight and night time, just for one night. And from tomorrow onwards, we've got a little bit more night than daylight. And it's just started to rain, and it is the perfect night for going out on the farm. I'm in the farmyard and I'm looking at slugs <laughs> this evening. <laughs> the damp weather, it's just light rain. I'm just in my shirt sleeves but it's really worth coming out to have a look. I've got a little camera with me and just walk down on the farmyard and on the gravel is our first slug and it's a great black slug but it's a bit of a misnomer because great black slugs come in a whole variety of colours from almost red, black some of them, a lot of them sort of chestnut brown and this one's quite a light beigey colour in front of me and they're really much maligned, they're hated by farmers, <laughs> hated by gardeners who put out slug pellets to kill them and this one's, I've got the little torch just on the side of the ground right next to it and it's just trying to move away from the light and it's curled itself up and just moving away at slug speed <laughs> but nevertheless stunningly stunningly beautiful the little patterns under the skin and there's two little tentacles out of the front of the slug and they're sort of omnivores really they'll eat small dead animals they'll eat small worms they'll also eat as many gardeners will tell you vegetable matter and that often forms main part of their diet so this one's not being very obliging it's crawling away so we're just going to hop up and look on the, the little patio area which is quite close to me where all the ladies during daytime sit and have coffees after they've ridden their horses let's just see if there's anything out because the little patio area should be getting a little bit damp or oh, some nice snails just here let's have a look yep perfect you can see the shadows of them you know, let's see if we can just put the torch around yeah two tentacles out as well and they're also out in considerable numbers tonight high ash farm's famous for its snails we have literally thousands and thousands of them and they'll all hibernate together just move a little bit onto the edge of the little patio and here's a lovely example just see if i can get the light in the right place we've got a beautiful snail another great black back slug here i should say and is next to it is another one and uh, i think they've just been mating it's a perfect night for that and just really attractive this one's quite almost orange in color just crawling away we'll see if we can see any others because there's keel slugs um, all sorts of different slug species um, let's have a look oh this is a cracker here wow, that's a four inches long at least five inches long there it is yep absolutely beautiful um, so some of the pellets that farmers use have recently been banned one containing methaldehyde and that's pretty deadly poisonous if it's made up with ground up durum wheat and methaldehyde quite a low percentage is added to the mix that's now been banned and many farmers are now using ferric based compounds which are much less toxic to the environment we've got another beautiful slug just here just look at the colors of that almost looks like leopard skin on the back of this one and I don't know if we're going to see any ones I'll just put the torch over there uh, what I'm looking for because when I came down last night um, I caught some actually mating and uh, they just go head to head and slugs are hermaphrodites which means they have both male and female um, organs on their bodies and so what they do the two will get together and <laughs> it's the most unusual thing i've only seen it three or four times in my life in between them comes a bright blue um, balloon is the only way to describe it about the size of your thumbnail 
Um, just an amazing thing to see. And what that is, it contains the sperm or the eggs, uh, in which case uh, they bite each other's genitalia off. <laughs> I'm sorry about this and then they're fertilized they absorb that and then they can go off and lay eggs but once that's happened uh, the slugs are females only after that's happened they can only mate if they choose to have another batch of eggs with um, a hermaphrodite slug that hasn't mated in the past and still got his male uh, parts so to speak <laughs> so I hope this hasn't put you off your breakfast but nevertheless they're absolutely stunningly beautiful I'm just going to get the little camera a little bit closer and this one obviously is reacting to the light and it's curled up in a kind of c-shaped letter uh, just to try and avoid the bright lights and so's this one just beside it but on the patio here there must be what 50 odd slugs and nobody just nobody is obliging us with this amazing mating experience what i'll do i'll try and get a picture so you can actually see this really strange and peculiar phenomena that happens when they mate and they're all over the farm we don't use any slug pellets now on the tracks in the woodland beside the streams there are literally millions of them so it's a very common invertebrate and they protect themselves they've had a rather difficult summer because they don't really like intense heat and they certainly don't like dry weather like worms they go down deep into the soil this is worms slugs will go under old tree stumps or under patio pamants anything like that and uh, try and avoid the worst of the dry weather but they protect themselves which is why they're strictly nocturnal they can't be out in the hot sunshine in the middle of the day they protect themselves um, with this mucus which is extremely slimy anybody that's ever picked a slug up then you're going to have to wash your hands for quite a few minutes to get the slime off and uh, scientists are now researching that because it's just an amazing lubricant it's absolutely fantastic and this slug's curled himself up almost into a circle and he's now going to leg it back <laughs> at quite a speed it's quite surprising they can me move a meter in a minute um, so another beautiful one here just stretched right out and the colors are absolutely amazing we'll get the little camera as close as we can so you can enjoy if you enjoy slugs you can enjoy looking at the beauty of this particular one so nature's full of surprises there we are little animals that produce a very beautiful sky blue balloon between them but we won't ask what that's all about best not